Hello everybody and welcome back to Terraria. I need to kind of get out of my ship because ever since I built those ships, the stupid auto-generated thumbnails have been choosing nothing but screen caps of me and my ship for the potential thumbnail. Which means I kind of just need to get my own thumbnails, but I'm lazy, so I'm not going to do that. So, if you remember correctly, in the last episode... We went spelunking in another world and collected a bunch of stuff, including this crystal vial shard. Ooh, ignores 10 points of enemy defense. That actually is... It's, it's better than I thought it was. Like, it's, it's like piercing and persistence, so it's going to be useful. We're probably going to need these mana potions for using it, though, because we don't have a lot of mana. We could fix that, though. We have a bunch of fallen stars, but I kind of want to save them. So, first up, I need some wood because i want to build this arena out wider and taller bigger basically Ooh, we are we are running out of we are running out of um space is there still just a single stone wall in this building how did i miss that for so long how did, how did i miss that let's go with that for now because last time we fought the destroyer we um didn't have any buffs yet at all like at all at all also i should where's my where's my imp staff oh it's here i need a better i need a better summoning weapon because the imp is falling off in usefulness a lot okay, so this needs to be wider like way wider like i'm gonna widen it in both directions there that ought to do I also need to make it a bit taller. Because we didn't have any buffs or arena arena setup when we fought the Destroyer last time. Because we didn't really have time for it. Because he kind of just crashed the party on us. Didn't I used to have Sunflower down there? I think I blew it up by accident. When I accidentally seeded Hollow near my base and I had to dig it out. But I've got a plant chest with some sunflowers in it. Sunflowers actually help to slow the corruption spread because corruption with a or grass with a sunflower on it can't be converted. It can still convert like beyond the sunflower. Like it, can, it can't convert these two tiles, but it can, can just skip over to this one. Hey, golden squirrel! Yoink. And they also help reduce the area's nearby corruption rating. I'm unsure if that matters for anything other than housing. But I did see the screen get noticeably lighter when I placed the sunflower, which means at the very least, it's doing something. At the very least, it's reducing enemy spawns, which is what all sunflowers do. So that'll help not be help help my arena not be swamped by corruption enemies when I'm trying to fight a boss. I'm not gonna have any platforms left to build this higher, am I? I want at least one more layer, maybe not two more, because that puts me dangerously close to my uh, my NPCs. Which, in hindsight, building the building the ship so close to my boss arena probably wasn't the best idea. This will probably have to do. So I need to go up to my boss place. This is actually good timing. I don't, I'm, hmm, I'm I'm not sure if I want to try again so quickly. Let's see. We're gonna take a fried egg. We're gonna take the. Oh. Obsidian skin. We're going to take Swiftness, we're going to take Iron Skin, we're going to take Mono Regen, Magic Power, that'll probably help. Maybe not Thorns. Life Force Potion, Heart Reach. We're going to grab our Gnome and our Heart Lantern. We don't have any relevant banners that'll help us. Right, the Heart Lantern can't be hung from platforms. Let's move this to the hotbar. Yeah, let's do that. 
we're gonna try this again. We're gonna give it a good old try. Right off the bat. And I'm gonna try not to die this time. God, I got hit. There goes an NPC. God, it's just vital that you do not get hit by the head. At least the probes drop parts. Ah, oh, God, I got hit. I think I dashed into the head, actually. God damn it. God, it's so hard. Just the probes overwhelm you. I, I just keep forgetting how hard it was to break into these bosses at first. Uh, I think I need to go back to my other world. I think the, the only time I've ever actually, like, beaten this guy... The thing is, like, the the mechanical bosses are probably the biggest difficulty hike in the game. I've had a, a lot of trouble beating these guys without using the Daedalus Stormbow and a bit of a cheese arena. I want to do it without the cheese arena this time, absolutely. But as for the Stormbow, I don't have that yet. I don't think you need a Stormbow necessarily. It really helps. Or... It's like a 10% drop rate, 3% drop rate. I think in the interests of not just doing mindless grinding, we're going to... He's not here, is he? We're going to do something different for a different item. Hello. So, this is the Tavern Keep. <clears throat> he's a part of a special event. He sells stuff for Defender Medals. Okay. He's gonna give me five. I'm gonna get a Flame Burst. So this guy is uh, part of the crossover event from Dungeon Defenders 2, which is sort of a permanent addition to Terraria, actually. So we need the Crystal Stand and the Crystal. And... We need to... We need to I'm not sure if platforms will work, but we need like a big, wide open, flat area. There's not a whole lot of those left in our world that aren't corrupt. We could go over here. That'll probably be our best option. But first, yeah, let's just let's just go over here. So the Eternia, the Eternia Crystal event is sort of like a tower defensey kind of thing, where a bunch of bad guys come out and they try and murder you and it's fun how do i do this again large flat open area this is this is not either large or and or flat and or open enough i don't know the exact the exact uh requirements for it but i'm pretty sure this is large enough it's just not flat enough Ah, oh, god damn it. If there were a hotkey for magic mirroring, I would definitely get that thing out of my hotbar, because I've just accidentally used it many, many times. Okay, this is as flat as it's gonna get, so let's try it about in the middle here, right? This is just about in the middle. Not close enough. It's going to be hard, but we'll see what we can do. Okay. So we're going to put this down here. Whoa, 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 whoa. What just happened? Did the slimes already take off half the crystal health?
probably should have gotten the, uh... I should have gotten the, the Ballista Tower. How much mana does it take to summon this damn thing? So yeah, the enemies come out of these portals. Oh, it takes 10. I should get Meteor shot for the gun too, so it pierces, because piercing is king here. Because they're all just straight up on on a flat plane. And you can't build or mine during this event. I should have gotten some defender medals from that completing that last wave, shouldn't I? Or do you not get any from the first wave? Seems like a bit of an oversight. I'm going to focus my towers over on this side, so that I only have to focus on one side of the event. Man, the Orc Holcomb Armor set bonus really coming in clutch. Oh, are my turrets also summoning petals? They are! <laughs> That's cool, so I should stay around here so the turrets can trigger. I think this is still technically the easiest version of the event. Also, either I'm crazy or we still haven't gotten any defender. Oh, there's one. We got one for completing this wave. So these green crystals I'm picking up off the ground are Ethereum Mana, which is only usable during this event. And it's basically just the currency used to summon these towers. Leave their. I should take off this lip so I can hit them easier. Uh -oh. Maybe put one more tower over here. Thing is, these guys can kill me too, and I don't want that to happen. They aren't doing a very good job of it so far, because this is, again, I'm pretty sure this is still... Oh, it only has a thousand health. I think the, the slimes really wrecked it at the start last time. Starting to get to the mini bosses of the event. Oh god, there's so many of those stupid wyverns. I don't have enough control over my shield to rely on it for them. So. 
Ah, there goes the crystal. And then they all go bye-bye. Okay. So takeaways from that... Having everything on the same plane helps a lot. Uh, slimes suck and will take off half your crystal health before the event even starts. Um, I need a better... I need like a homing ranged weapon. Or at least a better ranged weapon. And piercing is king. So with- oh, I only earned two Defender Medals from that whole thing? Oh my god! The, the cheapest item in the store is five! Oh, we're traveling merchants here. Okay, so we're gonna try that again. Ooh, extend over. Fine. We gotta go back and we gotta try again, and we gotta at least get three medals this time. Because, we... lord, this is rough. Not a very good defense on my part. Alright. Take two. Um, again, we're gonna pile all our turrets up on this side so we can focus on one side. I should've... I should've... Ah! We're gonna make them short so that my armor bonus can apply to all of them. I need like a better gun. Kinda wanna make like a mega shark. When it says wave complete, it actually means that there's just no more enemies spawning. You still have to take care of the enemies that are still alive. Okay. But the first wave doesn't give you any medals. This is this is decidedly a hard event, and it only gets harder if you try and do it in co-op. Which is kind of the standard for most boss event fights and stuff. Sit in here and spam left click. The shield is. I wish it had a little bit more damage on the shield. Like, just a little bit more so I can one shot the wyverns with one hit of the shield. This is generally my tactic for ta tower defense games where we're not taking an active role. Just pile up all your defenses in one area. Because spreading them out just really isn't worth much. One Defender Medal for completing Wave 3. That's when you start earning Defender Medals. Okay. I'm pretty sure the reward goes up as you do, like, harder variants of the events. I think the, the first harder is when you defeat a mechanical boss, and we haven't done that yet. Oh god, it's getting to night. I'm pretty sure this event suppresses all... I can't build during the event, because I got this creative shock debuff. Just so it, you... Basically, this entire event is just do the damn thing legit. You can't build trap. You can build traps, I think. But traps aren't very effective. You can't build a wall. Like, this entire thing is just fight, no build. Which is questionable when it comes to terrarium, you know? And I'm sorry if I'm, like, being drowned out by the sounds of my gun rapidly firing. I, I don't do sound tests often enough to know whether this is how to the vibrance. Of all things, I just wish that my shield did ever so slightly more damage. There. <laughs> See to get past that wall of fire. I think the the ballista turret's gonna be more effective than them though. The explosion is nice, but when it comes to maybe the f I wish I had homing bullets, kind of. That's gonna be so hard to keep my eye out for the wyverns. I should put like when I, if I get a lightning aura, I should put it down around here. Gotta make sure they don't kill me either. Oh, 
Oh god, what was what was even hitting me? At the very least, after this, we'll be able to get another tower. Definitely getting the Ballista Tower. Alright, just gotta make sure there's no slimes nearby. Alright. And we're gonna stack up the tower. No, we're gonna stack up the towers on this side. Gun has a default pierce chance, I think. Either from one of my accessories, which I don't remember what one offhand, or just because it's a gun that has pierce chance. Oh wait, was that it? It's being all shiny. Three! Really? We go through all of that for three defender medals? But now I can use these outside of the event. So wait, that's it. Oh, wait, oh I, don't, I don't even, oh my god. Oh, another mimic. This thing's actually pretty useful. Hey, cross necklace. I already got one of those, though. And that was a gnome over there. He should have been deaded, but he wasn't. Okay, let me just put this all away and parse everything. So, I can't even... I, oh my god. I can't even get the thing I wanted until I beat a mechanical boss. Which means I have to freaking go do the stupid... Here, let me just... He's not even selling better stuff. I want the Ballista Rot, though. Ballista. I have four medals left. Can I put these in the coin slot? No. Dang, I... <sighs> so that means I have to go get the Daedalus Stormbow, which is grinding hollowed mimics, and that sucks. Uh, man. 
That was fun, though. Short, but fun. When I actually figured out how to do it. Um, yeah, I, I need to grind Hollowed Mimics to get the Daedalus Stormbow. And then we're going to try again. Because the Daedalus Stormbow is just... It's a great fire and forget weapon, kind of. Which will leave me a lot of time to dodge. And that's really what you need to do during the Destroyer fight. You need to be able to dodge. It's also good for taking out the probes. It's just, it's just a good weapon in general. But I need to grind more Hollow Mimics for it. And we're not going to do that on camera. Because I already did that on camera. But we are going to... Why am I sparkly? We are going to get Reflective Die. With this strange plant. Where'd it go? Here we are. Make my stuff reflective. Thank you everybody for watching and I will see you next week.